today we are going to discuss about the topic functions so we have to know what is functions and why we move for function and what are all the benefits behind the usage of functions so when we say some of what are all the usages and what is function at all is there any types in functions if so what are all the various types and how can we use those functions in our programming language so first and foremost question we have is what is function what it is and the second question is why we move for functions and the third question is what are all the types of functions one more thing is that what are all the various categories of functions so these are all the things we are going to discuss under the concept called as functions for the first question that is what is function so for the first and foremost question we have an answer yes what is function means that we can say we a block of code in order to do the particular task a block of code to do the particular task is called as function okay a block of code to do the particular task is called as function so why we move for the what is the need why i am going why i am moving towards the concept called as function so let us answer why we move for function for example if i need for example if i need to do the task like i have to add two numbers followed by i have to subtract two numbers once again i have to add two numbers and again i have to do multiply two numbers and after that i have to do subtract two numbers and so on i repeat if i want to add two numbers after that i have to subtract two numbers and i have to add once again add two numbers and i have to multiply two numbers and i have to subtract two numbers and i am going to do the sum task here the tasks are not uniform we have to um make a clear note that is addition subtraction once again addition after that i am moving towards multiplication subtraction the operations are not in a arranged manner that is they are not a repetitive one okay so if i want to do the task in the following manner right so i have to do the task like c equal to a plus b right in order to add two numbers and in order to subtract two numbers i have to do subtract two numbers and once again i have to add two numbers so i have to perform addition of two numbers and i have to perform multiplication of two numbers and then once again i have to perform uh, the subtraction of two numbers that is each and every time i am i want to do the operation that is i have to load the values on to the operand 
and I have to perform the operation and I have to store the result. Rather than doing this, if I am doing the work in a smart way, that is, I am going to add this two number in somewhere else. Okay. So whenever I am in need of the operation add, I am going to call this. For example, if I name this as add of something. Okay. When I am calling this as a add of a comma b. Now the addition operation will be carried out somewhere and the result is brought here. And once again in order to add the two numbers again I am going to call the same. Rather than writing the code again and again I have written the code somewhere else and from that I am going to get the result. That is, if I am in need of food, okay, for some function, I rather than preparing the food in my home, I am going to purchase, I am going to order the food from somewhere else. And after that, whenever I am in need of uh, some extra food for some extra members, again I am going to call the shop and bring the food from there. The same thing. In order to do the action, rather than performing the action in my own program, I am going to do the action in somewhere else and I am going to bring the result to my program. Like calling the hotel and bring the food to my home, I am going to call the function the function is called this is called as function we have already seen what is mean by function for the for the question uh, we have already received the result received the definition as a block of code to do uh, the particular task a block of code to do the particular task is called as function yes in order to do the addition task I am going to define a function, I am going to create a function and I am preparing the result and from there I am going to bring the result to my own program that is my main program that is what the purpose of function. I think you are clear in that. When we apply this concept you may get a clear idea. Right? So you can map the idea with the real world example that is rather than preparing the food in my home I am going to call the hotel. The hotel is function. And I am going to get the prepared food from there to my home. The home is my main program. For the main program I am going to call the hotel. Yes the hotel is function. From the function I am going to get the result. Okay. So this is the scenario we have discussed uh, just now. That is in my home I am going to, I am in need of food. So that I am going to call the hotel and from there, from the hotel I am going to get the food. The same scenario. Rather than home, assume it as my main program. I repeat, consider uh, this as my main program. This is rather than two. This is my main program. And from main program, I am going to call the function. Right? I am going to call uh, the function. The function will do the particular task and it returns the result to my main program. So this is what the purpose of function. Okay.
so from main program i am going to call the function we have already discussed function is a block of code in order to do the particular task so that i mean have to know what is the syntax of the function right and how can we uh, declare the function and how can we use the function those things uh, we will discuss now so let us discuss what are the various types of function so the various uh, types of functions are predefined or built in or library function there is one type and the second type is user defined function there are two different types of functions one is predefined function we can say or we can say it as built in function or we can say it as library function it is a generic name that is the common name the predefined function or built in function or library function this is first type and second one the second type is user defined function these are all the two various types of function so for built in function or predefined function we have come across the various examples that we have used the various things in our program the main main itself is one of the function the main program main of this is one of predefined function scanner this is one of another predefined function and printf this is another example of uh, for predefined function and we have discussed various string handling function those string handling functions are also predefined function that is the function for which the c the c return the c the language c has already written the code in order to do the particular task so we have called those functions as a predefined function that is the c language itself has written the code for various function and they have named those functions like main of scan of print of right so those functions are called as predefined function or built in function or library function and the second type is user defined function this is what we can create our own function the own functions can be created in our programming language the own function okay our own function right so that is called as user defined function there are two types of function please remember it one is predefined function and another one is user defined function the predefined function can be named as built in function or library function or anything else that is these are the various names for, for predefined function and similarly user defined function means that our own function we can create our own function to our programming language okay let us discuss the structure the structure of function let us now discuss what is the structure of function the structure of function says the three different parts we have to be aware of when we create our own user defined function Uh, those three defined uh, different parts are first one is function proto type okay or uh, we can name it as function declaration okay the function proto type or the function declaration that is the first part in the structure of the function the second part is function 
definition remember it the second part is called as function definition and the third part that is called as function call these are all the three different parts we have to remember these three different parts under the concept called as structure of a function the structure of a function the structure of the function contains three different parts one is function declaration and then function definition and then function call these are all the three various parts of the function we have to remember these various parts of the function these parts will be the will define the structure of the function let us have an example okay so by considering this example we will have a clear cut idea on how to declare the function or how to define the function and how to call the function in our program so let us have a program in order to perform the addition of two numbers the first and foremost line uh, you may everyone may remember that hash include stdio dot h so everything should be in small letter because c is one of the case sensitive language okay so after that we have to declare the function that is the function declaration that is the next part that is the first and foremost part in using our own function to our own program okay the first and foremost thing is function declaration okay okay how can we declare the function means that the syntax says uh, we have to give the return type of the function followed by the name of the function for example i am going to add two numbers and i am going to give the result to my program okay the return type that is the first thing the syntax is let us uh, discuss the syntax first okay the syntax syntax says a uh, return type followed by function name that is the syntax i repeat a return type followed by the function name you have to give the function name after that we have to give of which indicates it is a function and then we have to give the semicolon this is the syntax for declaring the function okay so return type let us add two numbers and return the result the addition of two numbers and the result addition the resultant will be in of the form integer value so that i am going to give the return type of the function as int int followed by function name let us give add and then within the parentheses i can give the argument i am going to add two numbers so that int comma int in declaration part you no need to give the variable name if you give the variable name it won't give you an error there is no need to give the variable name give the semicolon the function is declared successfully in our main program that is in our program okay now i am going to open my main method void main of right this is my main program 
So I have to add two numbers. Correct. So let us have three variables in a comma b comma c and I have to get the input scan of uh, percentage d percentage d Amberson a comma and now I want to add these two variables that is c is equal to I am going to call the function that is add up a comma b this is what we call it as function call okay till now we have not that uh, come across the term that is called as a uh, uh, function a uh, definition okay i am going to call the function after that i am going to print the result okay and finally i am going to close my b program okay so hashin test h and function declaration that is the return type followed by function name and if if you have any argument you have to give the data type of the arguments okay this is what the syntax okay for declaring the function okay so we have uh, declared the function successfully so this is what the syntax for function declaration okay so this is what the syntax for function declaration right so return type function name followed by you can give what are the various uh, uh, data types of the variables you can give the data types So now the C of add that is C equal to add of A comma B that is called as function call. Okay. The function call the syntax for function call is the function name of followed by the values. So those values are called as arguments. So those arguments are called as actual arguments. The function name followed by actual arguments. So this is what we call it as that is function call this is the syntax for function call the syntax for function call says the function name uh, within the parentheses we have to give the argument that argument is called as actual argument so till now we have not at, uh, completed our program so the final step we have to define the function that is the function definition okay so the function definition so the written type the written type is integer right the written type is integer in add is function name and then we have to give the parameters right the data types and variable name let us give the variable name as x int x comma int y we can give the same name also 
that is in a comma b we can give a comma b also that's not a problem okay it won't give you the error because this a is different from this a okay so in function call the argument is called as actual argument in function definition or function declaration this argument is called as formal arguments right you have to find you have to remember the difference between the formal argument and actual argument the syntax of function definition is this that is the return type followed by function name and followed by the formal arguments and then we have to open the brace and we have to give the content of the loop that is the content of it's not a loop content of the function and finally we have to close the function so in the add of a comma b followed by open brace here i have to perform the addition of two numbers that is a plus b i have to store the result in somewhere else let us store it is z and we have to uh, return the result that is written z so before that i have to declare the variable z so i have to give the variable of type is int and i have to close the function right so now the value is at is returned here and it is stored in the variable c and finally the value c will be printed this is what how can we use the function in our program the structure of the function says three parts one is function declaration function call and function definition and in function declaration the syntax for function declaration is given here that is before the main we have to declare the function and within the main we have to call the function and after closing the main we have to give the function definition so these are all the things we have to remember okay so the next thing in function we have to learn the next thing in function we have to learn is the various categories of function the next thing we have to learn is categories of function so what is it it's very simple one that is in our sample program right so in our sample program we have a function that is named as add before the add we have given a return type right and within the parenthesis uh, we have given the formal arguments that is int comma int so we can give without return type that is no return type followed by function name and within the parenthesis we can give the data type that is also possible one more case we can give the return type right followed by the function name and within the function we can give without any formal arguments and final case is without any return type we can give the function name and within the parenthesis also there may be no need to give any arguments so these are all the various categories of function this is what the various categories of function that is function with no argument and no return values this is what an example is 
this function with the no argument no argument in the sense that we can give void as a that is no return type in the sense we can give void no argument that is we can there is no more argument within the parenthesis right no argument and no return value okay this is the first case and in the second case the function with the argument and a return value yes with the argument you have to remember that should be only one return value in function we can't return more than one value but in argument side we can have n number of arguments but in return type we can give only one return type it may be int or float or anything else and third case is function with the argument and no return value with the argument yes with the argument but there is no return value no return value in the sense we can give void here and in the final case function with no argument but it contains the return value function with no argument yes here the argument is nil but there is a return type yes we can give integer as a return type these are all the various categories of function so please make a note of these various four categories we can have a clear cut example program for each and every category so let us discuss the first category that is the function with no argument but it contains return value right no a function with no argument and it contains no return value okay the function with no argument and no return value okay so for that we can have an example program the hash in today's tdigo.h and followed by the function declaration so no return value for no return value we are going to give void and no argument yes within the parenthesis we can have no argument after that in the main i am going to call the function only that is uh, rather than declaring the variables at all i am going to call the function that is i am going to find out the biggest among the two numbers okay so after closing the main i am going to give the definition for my function yes by big of after that open brace and within the function i am going to declare two variables and for those two variables i am going to get the input and i am going to perform the comparison if x is greater than y then i will print x as a biggest number otherwise i will print y as the biggest number so this is what an example for a function with no argument and no return value which means that within the parenthesis also i am going to give no values and for no return type i am going to give the return type as void we have to remember this so the next case function with the argument and we are having the return value okay function with the argument and with the return value so with the argument so that we have to give the arguments here and with return type at least we have to that is only one return type we can give yes here i am going to give the integer as a return type okay so with the argument and with the return type so you have to remember one more thing that is the int is a default return type for in for the functions okay uh, we we have discussed these things in using main function right if you forget to give any return type here that is if you forget to give any return type here 
it will automatically consider as in so after main after uh, before closing the main we have to give return zero that is we have experienced this thing okay yes am i right so if you give no more argument here that is rather than void and if you forget to give the argument or if you no need to give the argument if you didn't give any argument then it will consider as in int is a default argument for the function okay so okay we will come towards our problem that is with argument and with return value so that the formal argument we have already say the argument given inside the function declaration and function definition are called as formal arguments and a return type for return type i am going to give int and in the main function i am going to get the values use the using scan of function and i am going to call the function maximum of a comma b it will call the function this argument here this a comma b is called as actual argument okay this is what the arguments that are given in the function call is called as actual argument and the argument that are given in function definition and function declaration are called as formal argument so it will call the maximum function in function definition we have give the definition yes the a and b is possible to x and y respectively okay and if x is greater than y then it will return x as a result otherwise it will return y as a result the result is stored in the variable c and we can print the result as the maximum of two numbers is percentage d c okay so between a and b which is uh, greater that is the biggest among biggest of two numbers program can be written in this way also the third type the third category that is function with the argument but no return value yes with the argument we have to give the argument here and no return value so that we have to give void here all right okay so here i am going to declare the two variables a comma b followed by scan of within the scan of i am going to get the input for a comma b and i am going to call maximum of a comma b that is the actual value of a comma b will be passed to the maximum of function the a will be copied to x and b will be copied to y and here i am going to compare in the previous program after comparison i have written the result right rather than returning the result i am going to print the value so we can um, compare this example with the real world example that is uh, rather than get the parcel uh, from the hotel i am going to the hotel and i am going to eat that right like that i am going to find the maximum of two numbers and i am going to print the result uh, within the function so this is the case where the argument is present but there is absence of return value so there is no more return value so that uh, i have to give void as a return type and the final category that is function with uh, no argument but the function has a return value okay yes here the no argument so that within the parenthesis i won't give any argument but i will return the result to my main okay void main of in ta the variable has been declared successfully and a equal to maximum this is the function call the function will be called that is it will call the function definition okay the function definition contains x comma y variable declaration and it contains the scan of in order to get the input from the user and the comparison is happened here 
if x is greater than y it will return x as a result the maximum number is stored in the variable a if not the y will be written as a result and the same result will be stored in a the maximum of two numbers is a which will be print successfully okay so have a look on this these are all the various categories so far we have discussed what is function a block of code in order to do the particular task and why we move for function that is in order to do the action right i am going to do the action in somewhere else and i am going to bring the result so that the time overhead will be reduced okay so after that uh, we have discussed how to use the function before that we have discussed what are the various types of function one is a built in function and another one is user defined function and built in function we have discussed the various uh, examples that is main scan of print of those are predefined or built in or library function and user defined function that is we can create our own function to our program so that uh, we have to uh, remember the structure of the function that is the declaration part definition part and function calling so when we are using our own function uh, we are having the various categories yes the various categories uh, like function with argument and with return value and function without argument and with return value and function with argument and no return value and function with no argument and no return value there are four various categories so far we have discussed the function the c is one of the function oriented language so the function concept is more important in c so learn it and understand it in a very clear cut manner thank you